Hi there. Actually, I think you need to try that one. Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay. First and foremost, I would like to thank the factory or the FarmNet Factories crew for pulling this together. Uh, this is such a wonderful event, so let's hear a round of applause for those folks. It's a lot of hard work and a lot of effort to pull events together, and we greatly appreciate um, you bringing us all here today. My name is Christy Greening, and I'm a member from the I'm a member of the Protect Wood County and its neighbors group out of Wood County, and also a member of the Roman Saratoga Friendly. I am one of hundreds of individuals fighting the Golden Sands Dairy CAFO proposed by the Waisaki organization to our neighborhood. My message here today may be a little bit different than the ones you have already heard. I actually want to share a message of gratitude to this crazy organization that is trying to overtake our community in Saratoga, Wood County. The Waisaki organization is attempting to place their proposed Golden Sands Dairy CAFO in Saratoga, which would be smack dab middle in the highly recreational and residential area adjacent to Central Wisconsin tourist hub of Rome located just north of Adams County. Many are probably wondering why thank them for this horrendous plan. Well, that is simple. I would like to thank them for making me acutely aware of how devastating the placement of one of these CAFOs is to our community and the surrounding communities. I have learned a lot in a very short period of time, as I am sure the rest of you have in your neck of the woods. If it was not for the Waisaki organization and their mission to shove down our throats their Golden Sands Dairy CAFO to our community, chances are I would not be here today, nor would I have had the opportunity to meet most of you. I would still be living in my blissful little bubble of ignorance, which believe me, some days I want to return to. So I need to thank the Waisaki organization. If it was not for the Waisaki organization and their proposed CAFO, I would not fully comprehend the effect of the proliferation of high capacity wells that are already draining our water aquifers across Wisconsin. I would not have come to discover that lakes and streams in our sister communities have already been highly impacted, placing numerous local Wisconsin bodies on the Wisconsin Impaired Waters list. And I would not have come to learn what low water levels would mean to our registered trout streams in our area, one that goes right in my backyard. If it was not for the Waisaki organization and their proposed CAFO, I would not have learned how liquefied animal waste can consist of almost 170 different pathogenic compounds, some of which have the potential to cause serious illness in humans. And I would not have come to understand that the spraying of this waste through irrigation equipment increases the probability of drift and airborne contaminants. I would still be ignorant to the fact that inhalation of these compounds by our children and residents surrounded by, quote, this new technology, places them in significant danger. I would not know that the same sprayed waste and its inevitable runoff is a significant contributor to the blue-green algae problem that we have in our local Lake Petenwell and whose algae bloom can be identified from outer space satellites. If it was not for the Waisaki organization and their proposed CAFO, I would have continued to be an uninformed consumer and an uninformed voter which I can gladly say I am no longer. I now know of numerous small family and organic farms in our area, such as Lonely Oaks Farm in Millador and White Feather Organics. And I understand clearly the importance of knowing where your food comes from and buying local. I understand the plight now of the true family farmer and how our beautiful state is losing more and more of these stewards of the land every single day to the unfair agricultural economics and subsidies provided by our elected officials. If it was not for the Waisaki organization and their proposed CAFO, I would not have had the unbelievable opportunity to hone my research and speed reading skills. <laughs> Because of them, I am now extremely tech savvy. Because of them, I have learned to manage multiple different email accounts and hundreds of folders for mass emailing of information. 
<laughs> and of significant importance because of them. I have learned effective ways to rally the troops with just using my words. <laughs> but most importantly, if not for this Vaisakhi organization and their proposal of this horrible CAFO to our community, I would not understand the true power of citizen participation and activism. I have learned the necessity of networking. I have watched in awe the power of grassroots organization. And I have felt firsthand the importance of coming together for the greater good. Without the Waisaki organization, I would not have met or had the honor to work with countless individuals such as yourself. So for that, I must say, thank you, Mr. Waisaki, for igniting in me and hundreds of others in my hometown the gut-burning desire and determination to stand together to, connect, to protect our community against you. And we stand behind others fighting similar but independent battles. So I ask that our govern, governing body and elected representatives hear our message here today, and together we can be the force to promote positive change. Thank you. Yeah.